superhero movies. Yeah, of course. We're talking about our very own Cody Stark. He is live in Sacramento talking Ant-Man and the Wasp. Hi, Cody. Very sleep deprived. Hi, Cody. <laughs> That's right, and we're talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp in comic books, and we're talking about ants and wasp in real life ah. with Jim Bradford. Okay, Ben, give us another another book that we need to check out. All right, well, what Marvel does is they have these great things that they put out called True Believers, and what it is, it's only a dollar, and it shows you some classic moments in your favorite character's history that I know I can't afford anytime soon. So it lets you check out those classic moments. One of them here is actually where Hank Pym, who has gone through many different phases, was Yellow Jacket instead of Ant-Man. Oh, really? So, yes, that was Ooh. one of his, uh, his incarnations. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, Jim, what do you got? I have a paper nest for, yeah. with Wasp, and so under these little silk pieces, that's where the new babies are born. And they come out like this, almost. Uh -huh. They come out, they dry out, they're able to fly and sting you now. Oh, okay, so thanks for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're kind of wet and gooey when they come out? Wet and gooey, yeah. And then they dry, and then they do the thing. Then they do the thing. Okay, all right. Ben, give us another one real quick. All right, well, uh, here we go. We got Ant-Man and Wasp in the microverse, which is what they touched on in the first Ant-Man mo movie when uh, the original Wasp disappeared. So their size can vary greatly. And, in fact, uh, he went through many other phases where he was Goliath as well. So, so you've got the giant ones, you've got the small ones, and then you've got into the microverse, which is something that uh, I'm hoping we'll see in the second movie. Okay, Jim Bradford, give me a fact about ants. Carpenter ants, unlike termites, they don't eat the wood. They drill into the wood and they make their galleries like there. So they live inside the wood. They don't eat it like the termites do. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, in harmony. In harmony. In harmony. Yes. All these facts true, Wasp? She says yes. She says yes. And then let's spoil the whole movie for you. How it uh, hooks into the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, we're out of time. No, no. I won't do that to you at home. I really enjoyed the movie. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, tell them where your, uh, your comic book shop is. We're at 1120 Fulton Avenue here in Sacramento. Come on down. We got pugs for you. We got comics and we got a lounge. Can't beat that. Jim Bradford, tell them how to get in touch with you if you want bug stuff taken care of. Uh, 916. 517-9177. Did you just forget your phone number? I did, I did. The pressure. I always, it's all the pressure. almost say I love you at the end of a phone call. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I don't. We I, love you I too. I love you too. <laughs> Thanks for picking up my phone call. Thank you, Wasp. Uh, Thank you, Deadpool. Back to you guys in the studio. Go see the movie. Cody. I'm telling you, it's so much fun. It is so good. It is so much fun. You're right, Code.